happy Friday. So today I want to share with you, show you guys how to make stuffed bell peppers. And I've already started the meat because it's very easy to do. Is that I mean everybody knows how to brown or brown ground beef and Italian sausage. That's what I used. Um, I just decided to turn the camera on to share how to make this. Um, so all I did was bought um, ground beef. You can buy ground beef, a pack of ground beef, however much you want for your family, and then um, a pack of Italian sausage, mild Italian sausage, or you can use the hot Italian sausage, whichever one you like. It's all up to you. And then I cut up an onion, uh, a little bit of onion, and put it inside of the, um, the ground beef, and I cooked it all together. But next, I'm getting ready to make my rice as the box says. I'm going to make regular rice, and then I have about... Six bell peppers here and I'm gonna let me get those cleaned off for you guys so I got about um, six bell peppers I tried to get the ones that you know sit up pretty nice and um, well I didn't get six I only got five I'm just gonna take the paper off wash them off and then I'll be ready to um, go to the next step with these all right so now that I washed the the bell peppers off I started to cut the tops off um, I don't know if you guys are if everybody knows how to do that I'm sure you guys are aware of how to do that so I'll show you anyway Right, you guys so the I'm gonna clean out the the insides pull everything out and then I'm gonna rinse them out one good time after that to make sure all the little seeds are out this recipe is so so simple and it's so so good you guys you will love it all right guys, so my peppers are all washed out and I have a big pot of water that I'm gonna boil because I'm going to put the peppers in there. They're all cleaned out and I'm gonna just boil the peppers to um, let them soften up a little bit before I put them in the oven. So I'm just gonna put them in here and they'll boil. Just for a little while to soften them up and then I'll put them in the oven to um, bake all the ingredients in them. Because when you make these, you can um, eat the whole bell pepper. Of course you can eat the whole bell pepper. So the, the ideal of it all is to eat the bell pepper with all the stuffing on the inside and you want your pepper nice and soft when you do. So that's the purpose of boiling the peppers in the water first. And now I'm getting ready to use my um, jasmine rice. I don't know if you guys like jasmine rice, but we like jasmine rice here. So I'm going to make my uh, rice as, you know, the instructions say in the back. So it's like for one cup of rice, it's two cups of water. Um, and that's what I'm getting ready to do next is make my rice. Putting down the rice is is um cooking and the bell peppers are in the pot boiling well they haven't started boiling just yet and then my meat is done so once my rice is done i can go on over to the next step i'm telling you guys this is so easy to do and then i'm gonna make cornbread off on the side all right guys so my peppers seem to be soft i boiled them for maybe like 10 minutes because you don't want to get them too too soft but soft enough and then I have a pan here that I'm just going to set them down in because I want them to stand up so that I can stuff them but I would say about 10 to 15 minutes the longest that you want to cook your peppers because they're still going to go inside of the oven you guys and now um, while this is going on I have my rice cooking here and yeah, that's, uh, that's what's happening now. So once the rice is done, I could show you guys the, the next step from here. 
All right, so the rice is done. And I'm gonna take, um, I'm gonna put the rice in with the, I'm gonna put the rice in with the meat. And I'm gonna take the stewed tomatoes and I'm gonna just pour it all in. Also, I'm gonna add just a little bit of ketchup. You could either use Okay, so I added some a little bit of ketchup to it because um, I felt like it wasn't, I, I, I should have gotten two cans of tomatoes because I have a whole lot of rice. So I just added a little bit of ketchup just to give it, um, to add more moisture to it because it felt a little dry to me. Or you guys could also use spaghetti sauce or whatever you like, but um, I just went ahead and used the stewed tomatoes today and then, um, but I have made them with the spaghetti sauce before. So now I'm gonna just start um, adding my mixture into the potato, I mean the bell pepper, and that's how you stuff them. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. And I use the cheese on the inside of um, the rice because not only do I want my cheese on the top, but I like to add the cheese in the rice as well so that as I'm eating, every bite has like cheese in it. That's delicious, guys. So now that all the peppers are stuffed, I'm going to just add some more cheese to the top. And we're going to put it in the oven for about 10 minutes. Just in, long enough to melt the cheese because everything is pretty much cooked. And your peppers are stuffed and ready to eat once they come out of the oven. Very, very simple. So I put the oven on 350 and it's already been preheated and now all I have to do is uh, put them in the oven but first I want to put some foil over it and just actually I don't need to put foil over it because I'm just going to melt the cheese so uh, I'm just going to put them in there for about 10 minutes and they should be done.
Okay, now that my peppers are in the oven, I'm gonna start making my cornbread. I've already put the mix inside of the bowl. I am using the Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix. I'm going to melt this butter because I like to add butter on the inside of my cornbread. And I'm just going to melt that down um, so that I could pour it on the inside of my bowl. And I also add a little bit of sugar. Um, I just take about a tablespoon of sugar and just add it to the bowl here. So, grab some sugar out of there and put it in there, maybe a little more. That gives it extra flavor. This is what I call doctoring up the box cornbread. <laughs> and then also, um, I use the regular stuff not quite done just yet okay but okay so i um, also use the milk that it calls for and the one egg and a lot of times um when i was cooking for more people i'll add like two boxes and just double the double the ingredients so once i am done with that i'm gonna get my egg cracked i'm gonna mix it on up and then pour it in the pan and into the oven that simple voila guys there are those bell peppers they are stuffed they are dripping with cheese and they are ready to eat you guys so now i'm just waiting for the cornbread to get done and that's it it's very very simple easy easy recipe um to follow and you can put your own ingredients in there make it however you want add some stuff take some stuff out it's all up to you but it's a different recipe to try and it's very easy and very quick to do and your family will love it it's almost like eating spaghetti to me um so there you have it guys stuffed bell peppers there are all kinds of recipes out there this is just my way of doing it I like to make it this way because it's quick, easy, and it's good. We love it here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I got my cornbread in the oven. And that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.